Well, we're just off of Richie Marlboro Road where the accident took place this morning that left two people dead, as you mentioned. I just want to step out of the shot for a moment and give you an idea of how severe this accident was. If you just take a look behind those orange cones, that's actually a piece of guardrail, mangled and twisted guardrail, and that'll just give you a little bit of an idea of how bad things were. Now, just a few moments ago, crews that were here at the scene left with some of the pieces to continue their investigation. We also had the opportunity to speak with Maryland State Police, and here's what they had to say on what went wrong this morning. We know that at about 6.30 this morning, there were three vehicles involved in collisions uh, on the outer loop of the Beltway just below Ritchie Marlboro Road. Two of those vehicles came across the median into the inner loop, uh, hit the guardrail. One of those vehicles went airborne and struck two vehicles that were southbound on the inner loop of the Beltway this morning. Uh, two drivers died in these crashes. Two were injured and taken to Prince George's a Hospital where they're undergoing treatment. A sixth vehicle was involved that was struck by debris from the crashes, but that driver was not injured. One of the victims has been identified as 41-year-old Candace Hewitt. She was a producer at the Pentagon Channel, where she's been employed since September of 2007. She was on her way to work this morning. It was a somber mood as her co-workers come to grips with what happened. Uh, our prayers you know, go out to you know, her family and this tragic loss at this time. And... Uh, it's, it's really tough uh, to look at how we're going to, you know, move on. Uh, and, and that's a difficult thing because she was a, 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 an inspiration to, to many people here at the Pentagon Channel and, and working uh, with the folks here. I've worked with Candace day after day, week after week, for the past four years producing a weekly show. And I have to say that she is one of the most consummate professionals one of the most dedicated, quality-minded individuals I've ever had the privilege to work with. Hewitt returned to the area last evening from Wichita, Kansas, where she was supporting her daughter's track team. Today would have been her first day at the channel since it moved from Virginia. Meanwhile, investigators think that alcohol could have played a role. One of the drivers in this crash who survived was taken into custody on suspicion of driving under the influence. Uh, investigators aren't ruling out the DUI had something to do with the initial sequence of, of this crash, but we don't know for sure right now. And this accident shut down traffic for hours in both directions, but primarily on I-95 South. The good news, however, is that all lanes are open, which once were all closed, and traffic appears to be moving smoothly in both directions. However, there is still more to learn about this investigation, and we, of course, will stay on the story and bring you more right here on CTV News. I'm Natalie Wilson for CTV News. Back to you in the studio.